And that's when it hit her. Something that had been staring her in the face the entire time. Sergei was not simply a driver with a silver tongue. And he had not been assigned to her merely by chance. His charms belied something darker. A sociopathy that reared its head snake-like now that he had her trapped in the moving sedan. And as Zadie was carried further out of trouble, all too familiar. The kind of trouble only she could get herself out of. Mr. Warnby, I'm your biggest fan. Well, it's very nice to meet my biggest fan. Here you go, Esther. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Hello. I'm excited to meet her. Excited? Uh, I run the official Isla DeMarco Twitter fan account. I've been reading her book since I was nine. <laughs> and I, I even had a Zadie Hurston themed birthday party. So, yeah. <laughs> you Thank you so much. Excited. <laughs> I've always wanted to be an author like Lila. And don't we all? You too? I wouldn't be just anyone's assistant. What is your name? Andrew. Andrew. I have to work for Lila DeMarco. <laughs> how, how did you get that job? My place, right time. You're so lucky. Can you sign a second page as well? Of course. Is the book for you? Uh, yes. Actually, my time as her assistant is ending. I'm moving back home, getting married, yada, yada, yada. So she'll need someone to take over for you? Yeah, I've been interviewing candidates. Do you think, could I apply? Like, I, I, I just moved to town and I'm, I'm looking for a job. Email me your info at lilademarco.com. I'll take a look at your resume. Thank you. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Are you a writer as well? Yes. Great. So, don't you forget to write a little bit every day. Hey, Hi. I'm Lila. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and your name is? Uh, uh, Mary Malone. <sighs> Mary Malone. Mm. It is so nice to meet you, Mary. Your books have meant everything to me. Oh, well, I hope you like this one. I know I will. You're brilliant. Oh, thank you, Mary. That is very sweet. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Hi. What's your name? Thinking of orange wine later. Could we get some menus, please? Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Speaking yes. of choices. No, this is your going away dinner. We are not doing any work, so don't even show that to me. You have to make a choice for a new assistant soon. Mm. Come on. You think this one will be a good fit? My honest opinion? Always. Uh, pure fame whore. He wants her glamorous life, but he'd make a terrible assistant. You don't like her? No, it's not bad. It's just she was a bit meek when we first met. Huh. She didn't say huh. anything about herself in her interview. Really? She wouldn't stop talking in line at your signing. I think she's still in awe of you. Once the hero worship wears off, she'll have a particular interest as a fan in keeping you on task with your new book. And what makes you think the worship will wear off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I leave you in the best hands. Mm -hmm. Not everyone can be a good assistant, but I think Mary could be. Ah, you know, I just need to come to terms with the fact that no one is going to measure up to you. Mm. You've completely spoiled me. <laughs> so you know what? Okay, you do so well. Sounds good. <laughs> now let's order. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. 
It's something, isn't it? Yeah, like that of a movie. Mary, arm it when you leave for the night. You're gonna wanna take notes as we go. Right, sorry, right. Um, okay, ready. This is my, uh, your office. <laughs> this way. This is Lila's office. It's where you'll find her most of the day. And if you don't, it's your job to track her down and tell her to go back to writing. Got it. Always knock. Knock two times. Come in. It's nice to see you again. I can't thank you enough for giving me this job. Oh, we're happy to have you. This room is everything. Like, I, I can't believe I'm standing in the spot where Zadie Hurston was born. Actually, Sadie Hurston was born in a coffee shop downtown. Oh, best croissants outside of Paris. Mm -hmm. I could get you a croissant right now if you want. <laughs> You're so sweet. We'll stick with bringing her coffee for now. <laughs> Come on. Let's leave Lila to work. Isabel's such a taskmaster. But your editor loves me. We'll chat more later, Mary. Managing someone else's life, but you also have to be able to blend into the background. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I can do that. I... And you can always call me if you have any questions. I, I don't think I'll need to. Oh, um, I mean, you've, you've, you've done such a great job explaining everything. So... See how it goes tomorrow. It'll just be the two of you. Let yourself in at 9.30. Sharp. Come on. Let me show you the rest of the house. Lila? Lila? Are you a fan <gasps> of Sherlock Holmes, I mean? Yeah. Oh, the adventures of the empty house. This is my favorite. Mine too. Really? Yeah, the return to Sherlock after going over Rackenback Falls. I love it. I have a soft spot for reunions between old friends like Holmes and Watson. You know, I always thought that Watson should stay more upset that Holmes left him for three years. What well, Watson really puts up with a lot when you think about it. I left your mail and coffee there. Oh, thank you, Mary. Mm hmm Well, I know I said the end of the month, but I need more time. And I never ask for extensions. No, 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 I would rather just submit it all at once when it's ready. 
This one's personal to me, Eleanor. And I promise it's gonna be worth it. Thank you. Yes, yes, we'll be there tomorrow. See you then. <sighs> Is it Everything okay? Yeah, that was my editor, Eleanor. You'll meet her. She's mad at you? No. We do this dance every time I have a deadline that comes close. I say I'm never late and beg for more time, and she gives me all of the reasons why I can't have it and then relents. <sighs> Salad looks incredible. And did you make this, Mary? Um, yeah. yeah. I whipped it up. I didn't know I had hearts of palm in the pantry. Oh, no, Mary. <laughs> I thought you wanted a drink. Oh, I was kidding. Well, I couldn't tell. You know, we don't know each other that well yet. I should have been clearer. I'm sorry. Well, we could have saved that for later. I'm not doing anything. Never cooked. <laughs> Come on. Come sit with me. We can have lunch together. Isabel's here. Is this it? All packed and ready to head out in the morning. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take off. Thanks, Mary. See you tomorrow. And so, how's it going between you two? She's a little sensitive. It's not easy getting a read on her. It's only the first day. It'll take some time to get to know each other. Of course, you're right. I have my moments. Now, Isabel, let's go toast to your new life. That's actually why I'm here. You have the best booze. <laughs> yes, I do. About that. I was on the tear. Oh, huh. don't let me interrupt. No, I could use a break. How's the book coming? Well, you know, it was going really slowly, but then this morning, whoosh, it's as if the floodgates opened. Oh. You know, maybe you're my good luck term. Well, no one's ever called me that before. Well, I aspire to be original. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Sure. I think she's dead for good. Well, you'll just have to wait and see. L like everyone else. Yes, including my editor. Even she doesn't know what comes next. Hmm. Hey, Mary, I'd love to get to know you. Let's get dinner, five-star Lila style. I don't have anything to wear. Oh, don't worry about that. You can wear one of my dresses. It would be fun to dress up and turn some heads. OK. Excellent. Let's go pick an outfit. No, no, dresses can wait. Oh, but you need to write. Oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mary, you scared me. What's the matter? I don't know about this dress. No, let me get a look at you. How? You look great. Just, I'm not used to wearing something so nice. <sighs> Hold on one second. Try these they always give me more confidence <laughs> see these shoes are everything and you look amazing in them see it can be fun getting all dressed up <laughs> Stop. We'll talk about the next book at lunch. Good morning. Catch up in a bit. Good, you're here. What is this? <laughs> a gift from me to you. <laughs> 
Why go out for coffee when you can brew cafe-worthy blends right here at home? Oh. <laughs> that is so sweet. What brought this on? You really got... Yes, Isabel was a wonderful assistant with a great many talents, but I'm afraid building up my online presence was not one of them. <laughs> Well, I figured that all the time I'll save running to the coffee shop, I can put into turning you into a bona fide influencer. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. Are you having lunch with Rand today? With Eleanor. Why do you ask? I should add it to your online calendar. Oh, I hate that thing. I much prefer paper. No, it's for me to keep track of. Now, is this a regular appointment you'll have? Well, we try to meet once a week, you know, schedules permitting so that we can catch up outside of work. Mm -hmm. Do you think I could come along? Oh. Or, or maybe just pop by. I'd like to get to meet Eleanor. I, I want to be a writer, too. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you for letting me crash your lunch. Oh, stop. If you hadn't asked to come, I'd have insisted Lila bring you. <laughs> so tell me about yourself, Mary. Lila says you're a whiz at social media, and I've been saying for years she needs an increased <laughs> online presence to stay competitive, so thank God you're here. <laughs> a photo for social media? OK. Oh, oh yeah. It'll be good practice. <laughs> well, Eleanor, get into. Oh, come. <laughs> come. OK, smile. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Feels so silly. You know, Mary is also a writer. Well, that's because of you. you. You know, I've always been inspired by Lila, but I'm, I'm nowhere near her level. Well, you know what you need to do to be a writer? It's to write. Mm -hmm. Every day. Yeah. Speaking of Lila, mm -hmm. don't, no, no. Well, when am I going to get to read your latest manuscript? You will get it when it is ready. And when might that be? Just dying of curiosity. You know, she, um, yeah. She always shuts her laptop every time I come in the room. I promise you will understand and it will all make sense when I'm done. <laughs> Let me take a look at this book. Oh, yeah. it's fabulous. Derby Hampshire's latest, just fabulous. It's so good. Excuse me, can I get another? <laughs> Yeah, Eleanor seems to love her. <laughs> All right, that's it. Can I help you? I, uh... What's going on? You're Lila DeMarco. And you are a stalker. No, I'm not. I'm just a huge fan. I saw on the Instagram fan account that she was here. I'm sure you did. Well, that's all right. I always enjoy meeting my fans. We met once before, albeit briefly. Andrew Jones, I was at your book signing here a few weeks ago. Oh, nice. well, it is very nice to meet you again, Andrew. You've honestly made my day. <laughs> Could I get an autograph while you're here? You. I didn't mean to offend. I was just buying one of your other books and would love to have you sign that one too. No, of course. Do you have a pen? Yes. This is Mary, my very enthusiastic assistant. I see. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye, Andrew. I cannot believe that you allowed that. He was harmless. You have to be more careful, Lila. You have thousands of fans, which is great online, but not in person. You, you know, some of them are bound to be crazy. <laughs> I will be taking a more active role in making sure you're protected. OK, but let's lighten up. I better go buy this. Lila? <gasps> Is that mm -hmm. that place downtown you like? 
they gave me a free croissant when I tweeted, as the official Lila DeMarco, that it was your favorite. I love you for this. <laughs> I tried one myself on the way over here, and I can understand the hype. Mm, right? Maybe I should start opening your mail for you. You think that's really necessary? I do. Th that way, if someone sends you anthrax, I'll be the one to get it first. Mary. Please, I would feel better. All right, uh, but just watch out for any white residue. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I noticed that it was Rand's birthday today, so I took the liberty of sending him a box of cigars. <laughs> you sent Rand a gift? From you, uh, of course. You know, I figured you'd probably bought him a present already, but that the cigars would be like a nice little, a nice little surprise. Yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't need to do that. Uh, and hey, you know, I actually, I've been meaning to ask you. I admit I haven't explored much. You probably just need someone to show you around. I have a nephew your age. He knows all the coolest places because he's into that social media stuff like you. I don't know. His name is Eric, and he's very sweet. I can set it all up. So you think he'd like me? Of course. I'm going to call him right now. Uh, OK. Um, I have some errands to run. Be Mary. Yeah, and uh, and you're Lila's nephew. I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Do you want to go for a walk? Um, so where to? I know a great art gallery a couple blocks down. I know the best hot chocolate in the city at the <laughs> stand on Bower Street. Um, well, I like art, but maybe we could do the hot chocolate later. Good plan. You'll love this gallery. It has lots of local emerging artists, and you know the downtown art scene has really come alive these last few years. <laughs> I can't get over that one artist. Those two should get together. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lila never told me where you went to school. Um, just a community college in my hometown. It's not worth mentioning. Well, where's your hometown? I'm from the Northwest. Like growing up with a famous aunt. I wouldn't know any different. She's just Aunt Lila to me. I wish I had someone cool in my family like an Aunt Lila. Yeah, she's. I've only read one or two. I'm more of a nonfiction guy. What? Y you have to read them. They're brilliant. Y you know, this last one ended in a cliffhanger, and I I'm just dying to find out what happens. <laughs> <laughs> she should hire you for her PR. <laughs> you got me wanting to read it. So sorry. So she really hasn't told you how she wants to save Zadie from that horrible chauffeur? Nope. Sorry. Oh, your phone's ringing. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's all right. You can answer. No, me. it's I don't just mind. a spam call. It's fine. So. What do you think of Lila's boyfriend? Rand? Yeah. He's all right? Well, he seems kind of like a playboy to me. I don't know. They seem pretty happy together. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm great. But do you think he's right for her? Who, Rand? Yes. Do you think he's right for her? I, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable talking about this. Why, why not? It's Lila's life. It's private. Well, I thought you two were pretty close. But she's my aunt. Yeah, all the more reason I would think you'd want to look out for her. Let's do this again sometime. She can be intense, but she means well. And I'm sorry that you felt uncomfortable. I don't know. She just kept asking so many questions after questions. Eric, don't you think you're being a little bit dramatic? Mary asking questions shows she wants to be a good assistant. This job is important to her. Yeah, well, she needs a little help. 
happen. Mm-hmm. It just gives me a weird vibe. Different light. She's more than an assistant to me. She's my project. Mm, a big project at that. <laughs> yes, the girl definitely needs help, but I'm gonna be the one to give it to her. I've decided I'm gonna mentor Mary. Well, good luck with that. Love you, Emma. I love you too. Bye. Another Mary specialty? I swear I've gained five pounds since you started working here. It's nothing. No, it's not nothing. Hey? You're very talented. I've been wanting to talk to you. Today's a very special day. How so? Well, you were hired on a trial basis. And today, the trial's over. I'd like you to join me as my assistant permanently. <laughs> and I was thinking that, in addition to all of your assisting duties, I'd love to do some mentoring. Well, how, how would that work? Well, you've already come to meet some... What do you think? I think that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> this is going to be really good. Yeah. And so is this See. I've been meaning to thank you. Thank me. The cigars, that was you, right? Lila doesn't like me smoking. Oh, yeah. Guilty. I'm glad you like them. You don't have to stay and entertain me. I know. Drink? Oh, no. I'm still on the clock. I won't tell. was seen canoodling. And that's the word they use, canoodling. Canoodling? With a certain author in the back booth of the pre last night. <laughs> oh, and the certain author was most certainly not Lila DeMarco. Ooh. OK. Well, the author you speak of is a friend of Lila's and mine. Now, if you had been paying as close attention to the photograph as you did to the article, you would have noticed three place settings. Was in the uh, ladies. I'm 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 surprised Lila didn't mention it. She usually tells me everything. Certainly not everything. Well, How do I look? Oh, beautiful! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You put all the other women to shame. You've been stalking me. Let me ask you a question, Stephanie. How long did you think you could get away with this? Do not test me. I am not paying you. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just have a word with your boss. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Right now, I am warning you. It sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. Leave. No, I'm Leave. warning you. You have until tomorrow. Hello? Mary, who is this? No one. He's leaving. My name is Derek. Ignore him. He is crazy. Oh, I'm crazy. Yes. Is he bothering you? Oh, that's rich. I heard Mary ask you to leave, and as you are... 
I'm going to make sure he leaves. Thank, Thank you. you. I, I'm so sorry you had to see that. Oh, my gosh, are you all right? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. He's just, he's an old boyfriend. He's obsessed with me. Should we call the police? No, 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 no. He yells and makes threats, and then he disappears for a bit. He's gone. Okay. Look, I'm okay. Really. Well, I, I, I feel like we shouldn't leave him. Make sure you arm the alarm system when we go. I will. Are you sure? Yes, please go. Have a good time. All right, okay, Mary, <laughs> have a good night. Okay, well, call us if you need us. I will. Bye, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Tolson and two L's. Yes. Eric, wrong move. How was your night last night? Uh, it was quiet. Nothing more from that Derek guy? I told you, he'll be radio silent for a while now. Well, I have something that might cheer you up. Oh, yeah? I finally finished my book. Are you still interested in reading it? Because I would, I would love a super fan's opinion. Well, yes, it would be an honor. I'll read it, I'll read it right now. Well, I should warn you, and I know it's gonna be a disappointment, but it's not a part of the Zadie Hurston series. Zadie, I'm just, I need a break, and I wanted to try and write something different. Right, but, but, but what about, what about the fans and what they want? You know, you, you couldn't have just taken a break until after you saved Zadie? I love my fans but this is something I had to do for my own mental well-being. And that will be better for the fans in the long run. You know the Zadie followers are gonna be very disappointed. Some of them inconsolable. The fans will find something to fill the void. You know what? Maybe it'll be this book. A memoir. Hmm. Ah! Mary! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm oh. I'm so I'm so jumpy this morning. Go see if there's some ointment over there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here, here, let me. I feel terrible. Oh, it's okay. It was an accident. Oh. It's okay. You can go, Mary.
Hi, Rand. It's Mary. Mary? I could have sworn I called Lila. You did? She's in her office, and I saw her phone ring. Oh, well, uh, I'm glad I caught you. Any more threats from the brutish ex-boyfriend? Everything's fine, thanks. Okay, well, good. Just let us know if you need any more help. Oh, I will. All right. May I speak with Lila? She's just so in the zone with her writing right now. I hate to interrupt her. Tonight. She told me she wanted to make some changes to it this morning, and I haven't seen her all day. But I'm happy to play secretary for you. I take a great message. Actually, you might be able to help me. Can you keep a secret? My lips are sealed. <sighs> Lala and I have some plans tonight, but she doesn't know I'm going to be proposing to her. Oh? Of course, I want it to be special, but some of the preparations require finessing. Well, what would you like me to do? I could use your help in delaying her in coming over. <sighs> Make the finishing touches. Of course. I'd be happy to help. Mary! What? Oh my god. What? what is it? You're never gonna believe this. Look. What? It's Derek. I don't believe it. It says he was found in a motel room near Skid Row. Maybe he was robbed. Uh, it doesn't say anything about that here, but with his temper, who knows? I mean, I guess the good news is that it's over. You don't have to worry about him anymore. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right, I guess I'm relieved, you know, but I'm also kind of sad. Just, it didn't have to be like this, you know? None of this is your fault. Not for one second. You know that, right? Thank you. Thank you, Lila. It's unbelievable. I know. Oh, there when he called. Well, you know that you can knock on the door when it's shut? I know, but I didn't want to interrupt. Anyways, he asked me to pass along a message. He said he's sorry, but he has to break your date tonight. And he promises to make it up to you. Well, that's too bad. But you know it's going to give me an opportunity to go over the manuscript one more time before I send it in to Eleanor? Did you get a chance to read it, Mary? I should be finished by tonight. I'm interested in what you think. Be brutal. Oh, I will. You know what? Can you take this and answer it for the rest of the day? No matter who calls, I'm busy. Absolutely. Around the corner? Eric. He got hit by a car. <gasps> oh my god. Is he, is he um, alive? <laughs> yes. But they're keeping him in an induced coma. They, they're worried about. Oh, they're worried about. Last night. Do they know who the driver is? They don't have any leads. It happened in an alley downtown. That's, that's horrible. I know. I, I'm going to go now. I'm gonna go call the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> it's 
speaking of last night, before all of this happened, Lila was under the impression that I uh, canceled our date last night. I, I thought she canceled the date. She told me she wanted to stay in and work. I, I tried to change her mind, but you know how stubborn she can be. <laughs> I'll, I'll take care of it myself. I'm heading back to the office. I'll check in with you later, Lila. Hi, Eleanor. It's Mary. Mary, I just heard Eric being hit in the driver. Yeah, no, off. I know. It's so awful about Eric. I am so worried mm -hmm. about Lila. I know I'm worried about Lila, too. You know, I was... I was meaning to talk to you about the book tour. Is there yes. any way that we can postpone? Oh, that puts me in a really tough position. I know it puts you in a tough position, but with so much going on, you'd understand. <sighs> Thank you, Mary. Please tell okay. me I'm thinking of her. Yes, I will pass that on to her. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Mary. Hi, Mary. Thanks for working late again. I'm gonna go see Eric, okay? Yeah, I picked up some flowers for you to drop off at the hospital. That is so thoughtful, Mary. I'll see you soon. Are you okay? I was with my sister when she met with Eric's doctor. How's he doing? Well, he's stable. He's out of ICU, but they want to keep him in a coma a little while longer. What are you doing? Just catching up on some of your fan mail. I thought if I wrote out the answers, you could sign them later. It'd make things easier. Who knew having a super fan like you around would be so... I swear my eyes are getting weaker. You know, I need to... Uh... I think I need to see my doctor. Would you make an appointment for me, please? Sure. So what uh, sorts of things do I say to my fans? Thank you so much for reading all these years. Hope you enjoy my new book due out this September. I don't think that we should mention the memoir like you were saying. It might make some of the super fans angry to learn that it's not a Zadie Hurston book. Well, you have to face them at some point. Well, you would know best. And you know, I so appreciate you handling this for me. It's no trouble at all. Come in. Hmm. Do you hear that? Clear as a bell. No, sorry. It's a very low hum. 
Maybe I can't hear that frequency. Oh, it's gonna drive me crazy. I just need to get your signature on these. Pen not working? Too bad. Let's, let's try this one. Thank you. <sighs> Suddenly, I'm so exhausted. Why don't you lie down? You know, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a night. Okay, feel better. What would I do without you? <sighs> Let's hope you never have to find out. That's so strange. I didn't hear my alarm. Oh, are you feeling okay? No, no, I can't get that humming out of my head. I keep hearing it. It's keeping me up. I was up so late. I saw the sun come up this morning. Well, maybe you should get your doctor to give you some sleeping pills. No, no, I don't think that. I know, I'm dreading it. <sighs> they live abroad, so it'll be my first time meeting them. Mm-hmm. I want to make a good impression. I'm sure you will. Did you, um, did you confirm the reservations for tonight? Everything's taken care of. Do you know what you're going to wear? <sighs> oh, God. Oh, I have no idea. Don't worry. I'll pick up some dresses for you to try on. Oh, my God, would you? <sighs> that would be such a relief, Mary. Just, um, take my credit card. Isabel, hi. It's so sweet of you to call and check on me. No, I'm fine. No, I, I just, I haven't, I haven't felt like myself lately. Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I called about putting some dresses on hold for Lila DeMarco. Of course, I have them set aside in the back for her. Oh, I'll take them. I'll be doing all of her styling and shopping from now on. I understand. Uh, she must be so busy. <laughs> you um, sparkling water, champagne, and orange juice. Champagne, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also set aside something for her. Thought she might like to try these bracelets in anticipation for her upcoming book tour. No, no, I think... I think Lila would like this one. Oh, yeah. one of her most exquisite pieces. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's chosen any other looks yet. She's keeping her options open. Well, I hope that she will consider us for anything she might need. You know what I need? I need that champagne. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about needs. Coming right up. Thank you. I just... I don't think any of these is really me. Maybe if you try them with the shoes? No. I, you know, I just, I want to wear one of my own cocktail dresses. Where is that off-the-shoulder black dress you wore for our dinner? I'll get it. It should be right near the front. Ugh. I know I brought it back from the dry cleaners. It's, it's... It, no, no, I don't see it. I just saw it. 
You know? I, I believe you. just here. I mean, I don't know what's happening. I, I can't remember where I put anything. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't I dry you a bath? Sorry, uh, I'm sorry to get so worked up. Don't worry about it. And I'll keep looking for that dress. Come. <laughs> it's not like her to be so late. She must have been held up in traffic. Can we at least order some appetizers or something? No, because it would be rude to order before she arrives. But I'm hungry. It was a long flight. I'll try calling again, Father. Oh, is this her? No. Who is it? What are you doing here? Nice to see you, Rand. Are these your parents? W where's Lila? She'll be here soon. Hi. Hello, I came to let you know Lila's on her way, and she apologizes, but she got held up by some last-minute edits for her publisher. <laughs> Why didn't she call? Oh, her phone fell in the bath, and it's not working now. <laughs> Why didn't you call? I did, but you must be out of service here. It didn't ring. I hate when that happens. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, would you like to join us for a drink? Uh, Mary, and I would love to. But I was just stopping by my way to another appointment. Father, let's let Mary get on her way. No, I think your dad's right. I mean, what's one drink? That's right? the spirit. <laughs> now, how about the menus? <laughs> think I'll go pick up Lila. No, Rand, you heard Mary. Lila's going to be coming soon. Come, sit. Relax. Let's order. Uh, relax, Rand. Yeah. I'm so yes, <laughs> <gasps> so what are we drinking? Well, what are you drinking? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. That's so good. <laughs> I thought you had a date. <laughs> I guess I stood him up. <laughs> oh, Lila. Hey. Hey. Darling. Am I late? What happened? We've been waiting for over an hour. Just one second. An hour? I don't understand the reservation of my calendar. It's at 8 o'clock. It's past 9 now. What? <laughs> Mary? I let them know you were running a little bit behind. I'm so sorry. We need to talk. Right now? Mm. Leave her alone. I should be going, but you can take my seat. Baby. Lila. Hi. This is Mr. and Mrs. Tolson. Tolson, this is Lila DeMarco. They are wonderful people. Oh. The best. Oh. Hilarious. <laughs> and have such a good time on that trip. Oh, Thanks, baby. Oh, well, you well. <laughs> Bye. No more gin. Oh, that, was, that was for you. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Mr. Tolson, Mrs. Tolson, I'm really sorry. Don't think anything of it. I'm glad you're here. Well, yes. <laughs> the dinner was fine. My parents? Oof. They loved you. They did. They're probably wondering why you're dating the crazy lady who can't even tell time. Uh, uh, are you kidding? They were so drunk, they didn't know that they'd been there for five hours or 30 minutes. <laughs> You know, I'm worried, Rand. I don't know how I could have lost a whole hour and then have no memory of it. Listen, I know you've been anxious about Eric, not to mention your new book publication. Things are getting better. Every day, Eric is improving. And you know Eleanor is always willing to work with you. I want you to know that I'm always here for you and I always will be. I want us to get uh, come in. Uh, <clears throat> we're in the middle of something. It's all right, Rand. I came to ask if you'd like me to cancel your appointments again for today. Uh, yes, please, I would, thank you. Is there anything else I can get for you? Uh, could you grab the stack of papers on the desk in my office for me? I can't bear to be in there with that awful humming noise right now. What humming sound? It's this 
annoying, low, constant humming in my office, and, and I can't tell where it's coming from. Can you check? I'm the only one who can hear it. Let me take a look. I'll be back. Thank you, honey. Anything I can help you with? Shh. Try to hear the noise. Oh, you can't hear it either, huh? <laughs> Zyla seemed more and wild since you started working for her. Oh, you've noticed it too. Mm hmm Poor Lila. Yeah, 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 yeah. First Eric, now the book debacle. She, she's really breaking under all this stress. Book debacle? What book debacle? She hasn't told you? Oh, it, it's all over social media. The backlash from the fans over this new book has been brutal. I'm, I'm starting to hide the letters that come in. It's pure hate She mail. hasn't said anything about this to me. Well, that's because she thinks it's a storm that'll pass, but they are talking about canceling her book tour. Eleanor would never do that to Lila. It is out of Eleanor's hands. Now, please, please do me a favor. Don't say anything to Lila, okay? She doesn't know yet. I'm sorry. I didn't hear anything in your office, but I believe you. I think... You could use some time off. So why don't you come with me on the trip to see my client in LA? I have so much to do for this book tour. Send Mary off for a while. We can have some time here alone. <laughs> you can rest up. Oh, I need Mary. Hey, I rely on her quite a bit. Lila, Mark, will you marry me? <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. Okay. <clears throat> What's wrong? It's my apartment. My stupid landlord just informed me that they have to replace all the plumbing and I have to be out while they do it, and, and it could take weeks. Uh, well, that's not a problem. You can, you can stay here. Really? Really, you wouldn't mind? Why else do I have this enormous house if I can't help out my friends? Well, I can help out around the house more, too. And I'll do all of the cooking as a thank you for letting me stay. Well, you know I can't say no to your cooking. Yeah, <laughs> it's my secret weapon. Um, You're such a good friend. You're welcome. broke down and got a prescription. I'm surprised it took you so long. Ugh. You want to go and lie down? I can take care of things for the rest of the day. You know what? I think I will. Yes, and drown out the humming. Thank you, Mary. You're welcome.
You sleep well. you got. Did you manage to get some sleep last night? Well, those pills are definitely effective. Mm. Maybe too much so. What do you mean? Mm. Well, I woke up feeling very well rested. Mm. But Rand says I was up late last night messaging him. I have to say it wasn't my usual style. He was quite scandalized. I'm sure he enjoyed it. All men do. I've heard. What do you want to do today? Well, I feel so good. I think I'm going to pop by the hospital to see Eric. What about you? I've got some things I can work on around here. All right. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Yes, you will. So much to do. shouldn't be in my spam folder. Belleville student arrested for... What? Hey, bring me back the papers from this week. What do you mean? We're meeting at 7 and it's only 6.50. Didn't I tell you she called to change the reservations to 6.30? What? No, you didn't tell me. Sorry, she's at the restaurant right now. You better go. Okay, I gotta grab my earrings. Okay. Thank you.
Marco, I should be writing now, so leave a message. That was close. Where's Lila? She's in the shower. Mary, Stephanie, or whatever it is. It's Mary. You know, Stephanie, I've been meaning to properly convey my condolences on the loss of your... He turned you in once to the police before. And here he was, Mary? ready to ruin your new life and expose you again. Unless you paid him right. You don't know what you're talking about. If you say so. But I still believe Lila should know. She's never going to believe you. I disagree. You know she's not going to believe you. I disagree. Lila, where is she? She's in the shower. Lila! Grant, I told you she's in the shower. Lila! Grant, do not go in there, Rand. Lila! Stop it right now! Stop! Stop! I told you not to Lila. go in there. Rand! Lila! Lila! I told you stop it! Where are you? I just got in, Eleanor, and I have something I want to tell you in person. So I'm running a bath, and I expect you to join. Ah! Rand! Oh, oh, my God! Oh my what God. happened? Rand! Get off no, me! No, we need to call for help. <laughs> Lila, come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Sit. I'm calling the police All right, right now. Calls I'm calling. Girl. I'm calling. Oh my god. Hi. Yes, we need an ambulance. Someone's someone's been attacked in our house and he's not breathing. Yes, yeah, 6056 Maple Ridge Drive. Hurry. Thank you. Okay, we're coming. Here. Drink this, it'll make you going to show. Yes, see? Good. That's all. Everything's okay now. I got it. Lila, everything's okay now. Get off me. Just trust me. Good morning, Lila. How's your head? What? I figured it would be a doozy after last night. Last night? Last night Rand was here. No. No, I don't think so. Come. Bathroom. Mm. And then he was dead. What? No. No. You must have had a nightmare. He texted you last night. Look. It was so real. Yeah, I think you overdid it yesterday. Here, drink this. I just made a fresh cup. Mm. Rest now, okay? Okay. Come. No. He was there. In the bathroom? No. Man. 
Your book's almost done. Zadie lives. But there's a twist. Rest. Oh, hi, Mary. I was just calling to see if Lila had made hotel reservations for a wedding yet. Do you know if she has? Lila hasn't been feeling well these past few weeks. She's been under so much stress. And since she and Rand have broken up... Oh, I, I knew about Eric, but she didn't tell me about that. Poor Lila. Yeah, she's very fragile right now. I just don't see how she's going to make the wedding. She's talking about possibly taking a retreat, one of those ones without phones or technology. You know, after all that sleep, um, I'm feeling much better. I think I'm gonna do some work in the office today. Do you have my phone? Hmm. It's in the office charging. I'd really like to speak to Rand. Of course you can. Then you don't want to let what happened yesterday happen again. Eat. I'm perfectly capable of feeding myself. Flora's body growing cold as the tile. He lay there for what could have been hours until the life bled from his brow.
no need to shout. Untie me. What are you doing? Well, he told me to find a writing process that works for me. I find that it really helps me to act out my scenes before writing them. Take Eric, for example. Sometimes Zadie needs to deal with nosy people who don't know how to mind their own business. You? You hurt Eric? It had to be done. Or take, for example, the jilted boyfriend who won't leave Zadie alone. I tried out his murder on Rand. Actually, first I tried it on Derek, and then I perfected it on Rand. You killed them both? Of course, silly. And now you. I think I'd like to have a victim in my next book who breaks her neck after falling down the stairs. I is that- Who? Zadie! You, the brilliant author! You created a heroine who everyone adores, and then you had an obligation to save her? And instead, you abandoned her! Oh, okay, I, I understand why you'll be upset with me. Why hurt Eric or Rand? Because they weren't good for you, Lila! They were distracting you from your work, and they were trying to stop me from doing my job! Who is you that Mary? huh? You want to help me, or are you trying to kill me? Honestly, I go back and forth. <laughs> Is it money that you want or anything? I don't want your money! I don't want it! You can't be trusted to write Zadie Hurston anymore, so I'm taking over. I am gonna bring her back. <laughs> no one will read your third-rate fan fiction. No one will buy it. <gasps> you really don't understand your fans, do you? They don't care. They are just hungry for anything Zadie-related. Get it? Do you get it? Eleanor will know. Isabel, my agent, my publisher. Isabel, Eleanor, I don't care! What do you want? Sadie. Hello? Hello? Not one word. Oh, she is dead. Do you understand me? Mm -hmm. Do you? Mm -hmm. Shh. Mm -hmm. Shh. Isabel? What are you doing here, Isabel? <laughs> Where are you going, Isabel? What's going on? Where are you going? Lila! Lila! Get Lila! Lila! Stay out of my way, Isabel! Lila! Not a chance, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've been reading your books my whole life. I love them all. <laughs> That's very sweet. Are you ever gonna bring back Zadie Hurston? Zadie Hurston is dead. <laughs>